Thank you for purchasing the CVI Underslung Quick Mount System. The first step in the build process is to locate the side of the CVI Underslung with the two sets of 5mm holes that are 28mm apart. Remove the aluminum standoffs and replace them with the steel standoffs included in the Quick Mount Kit. Add the plate reinforcement brackets and secure with M5 by 15 bolts for the standoffs and M5 by 12 bolts for the other side of the plate reinforcement bracket and secure with M5 nuts. Wait until the rest of the frame is assembled to tighten the M5 by 15 bolts. Next, install the two straight steel rods and use the included M5 by 12 bolts to secure them in place. Be sure to use Loctite on all the bolts. Slide the 90 degree rod connectors on and install the angled aluminum rod in between them. Align the rods, then use M5 by 12 bolts to secure them into place. Then go back and tighten the bolts for the standoffs. Next, install the rod to ball joint coupler and secure with M5 by 12 bolts. Screw the attached M10 nut into the ball joint threaded rod. Add Loctite to the threads and screw it into the rod to ball joint coupler. Make sure the threaded rod is as tight as possible, then tighten the nut up against the coupler. Repeat this process to the other side. Monitor these thread connections while in use to make sure they don't come loose. Next, install the strap connector bracket. For optimal placement, attach it as close as possible to the center of the CVI underslung top plate. This will require you to drill three new 3mm holes. For easier installation, align the two holes with the pre-existing wire rope module holes and just drill the third hole. Use the included M3 by 12 bolts and lock nuts to secure the strap bracket. For heavier camera setups, install it on the far side of the isolator. For lighter camera setups, install it on the side that faces the vehicle. Installing it closer to the vehicle will give more Z-axis travel and keep the strap angle steeper. Installing it on the far side is better for heavier camera setups because it decreases the leverage in the Z-axis. Thread the bottom of the strap through the bracket and close the loop with the quick link. Use the remaining two quick links to install the silicone shock absorbing links as shown. Add or remove links so that the static weight of the camera and gimbal stretch the silicone about one third of their possible travel. Before attaching to the vehicle, make sure the surface is clean. Repeatedly pump the vacuum cups until the red line on the pump is no longer visible. Monitor the pump to make sure it maintains suction. Tie the nylon strap to the roof rack or some other secure fixture on the vehicle. If the vehicle does not have a roof rack, the strap can be tied around the roof itself. Be sure to use padding to protect the vehicle from damage. Make sure the strap angle is sufficiently steep. If you need to mount the system higher on the vehicle, use rigging to raise the strap angle. Additional rigging can also be used to place the quick mount system on the front of the vehicle. Additional bungee cord can be used to increase the amount of Z-axis travel. This will result in smoother video, however it can also lead to dangerously large oscillations when the car drives over bumps, so only increase the z-axis travel on smooth roads. It is also a good idea to fix the isolator to the underside of the vehicle so that it can't tilt up too much. Always use a safety line with the CVI underslung quick mount system. The length of the safety line should be just short enough to prevent the gimbal from hitting the ground in case of a structural failure in the isolator system or in the vehicle. Attach the line to the camera or as close as possible to the camera. Never use the quick mount system without a safety line. Regularly check that all nuts and bolts are secure and that the suction cups are properly attached. Thank you for purchasing the CVI Underslung Quick Mount System.